G'day, Ewan Ferguson, Chief Officer. Well, I'm here at Benalla for a couple of reasons. Uh, we've just commissioned a new medium tanker for Gurumbat, which is just immediately behind me, and one of the new 3-4 proof of concept tankers, which is going to Benalla Brigade. And then a little bit later on tonight, uh, having a celebration dinner and some awards with the Benalla group. These new vehicles, fantastic achievement by these brigades. They have all the new safety features, including the drop-down curtains, the enhanced telecommunications between the cabin and the ROPS, and they've also got the drop-down, uh, the, the spray deluge system. The heavy concept tanker, we've got 10 of these vehicles which are going around the state as a proof of concept. We've had a whole lot of feedback, some good, some bad, so we thought we'd build 10 of them, put them out there, work them for a couple of years and just see what the feedback is on them. This morning we are at Wangaratta, spent a bit of time with staff. We also commissioned medium tankers for Kilawarra, Tarawinji, and also a brigade VSEP tanker which went into the Wangaratta fire station. And again, a great enhancement of the capability of those brigades. Hello, um, I'm Peter Nolan, captain of the Tarawinji Fire Brigade. Um, we've been lucky enough today to receive our new four-wheel drive uh, Hino tanker, which is replacing another Hino two-wheel drive that we've had for 15 years. The other truck was a, a really good truck, but we're extremely happy with this one because uh, of more capabilities and um, we'll probably need it because we've got the uh, Hume Freeway and the Great Alpine Road in, in our brigade area. G'day, Peter Leach, First Lieutenant, Wangaratta Fire Brigade. Yes, I'm with our brand new uh, medium tanker, uh, which we've just taken delivery of. This is the second tanker to our brigade. Uh, it'll be a great backup to our 3.4C Heavy. And as an integrated brigade, it'll give uh, a heck of a lot more firepower to the brigade with staff and volunteers being able to be out on the fire ground together and uh, also supporting out into the uh, other brigades in the group and district. Hi, I'm Travis Ledger, First Lieutenant at the Kilawarra Brigade, which is around 15 minutes out of Wangaratta. We've just got our new tanker to replace our 96 model uh, Isuzu. And the new tanker is very impressive. We do a fair bit of uh, work in the Warby Ranges and down on the Ovens River Flats, and we think it'll be very useful for our type of work. We also come into Wangaratta to support their brigade, and it should be a great asset to the region. Earlier still today, we visited Bowman's Forest Murminji Brigade. I was taken by their satellite station, which is a, a little Nissan hut, and they've got, a, again, a VSEP 1-4 tanker there, and uh, they're making great use of a what appears to be primitive but a very functional design, and uh, I'll be taking some thoughts back to our architects to see whether we might better replicate something as a cheap uh, effective satellite station. So all in all, a, a great day up in the northeast. But one of the things that uh, I've been uh, highlighting is the amount of moisture in the soil. It's now starting to warm up. A lot of grass growth. Uh, we need to be prepared for the possibility of a, an early onset for the fire season. I think there will be a lot of grass growth as the weather warms up. Uh, we need to be prepared. Last year we saw towards the end of November and early December uh, the weather warm up very quickly. There are some similarities between the lead up to last year's fire season and this year's fire season. Very shortly I'll be leading all of the operational officers in uh, headquarters in doing the burnover drill. We'll be doing uh, a RACO trail and trying to also assist Depi with some fuel reduction burning. Now, I just want to close by uh, reinforcing the fact that we are working very closely with our partners in Depi and Parks Victoria, MFB, Fire Services Commissioner obviously, and also SES, Victoria Police and Department of Human Services. We work as one is the new catchphrase that we're trying to spread around CFA and the agencies. Nothing we do these days is CFA alone. We work closely with other agencies and we need to continue to do that. We've done really well in the past but we're reinforcing the closeness of our working relationship with our partner agencies. We work as one, take time to think about safety and preparation for the fire season, 
come home safe, whether it's a motor vehicle accident, a house fire, training, or a grass or a scrub fire, make sure you look after your, your mates who are around you. Thank you very much. Stay safe.